Hi there, in this video, I'm going to be giving you a full flip through at the build your own desk pad. And I will be showing you kind of how it works. I was kind of playing around with it here. I will be showing you how to move around your templates and show you all the templates that are included. I will also be showing you how to swap out your cover page. This is the default cover page, but you can swap it out to any of the covers provided. So when you tap on it, you do open it and we get to our dashboard. And this desk pad does have 40 sections for your own custom templates or whatever it is that you wanna use them for. I kind of labeled this one my meal planning and then I labeled it here also. And I added a meal planning template that comes with this, but you can literally move your inserts around anywhere. So this is a monthly desk pad. This version that I'm using is the undated Monday version but you also get the undated Sunday version and you get the dated version um, Monday start and the dated version Sunday start for 2022. And like I mentioned, this is only monthly hyperlinked. So this desk pack works for anyone who doesn't like a lot of links. Maybe some days you weekly plan, maybe some days you daily plan and other days you don't and you get overwhelmed with links because a planner that has a lot of links, you are not able to delete those pages because of the links that are included. But since this is a add as you go desk pad, it will, be, it will work for you if that is your planning style. So let's go ahead and come to this little pencil. It will always take us to our dashboard and our extra pages are here at the top. And here is where you will find everything. You will find over 30 weekly views and you'll find all the templates that are included in all the life planners. What I love about this desk pad is if you decide not to use any of those templates, you can simply erase them from your extra pages or leave them there. So at the beginning, we have our default spreads, which are grid, lined, bullet paper, blank. Then we get into our daily view option and then come the weekly views. So I'm gonna go quick through these just so you can kind of see that there is a weekly view for everybody. As I mentioned, I am using the Monday start, but if you download it, your Sunday version, you will have that option also. So these are all the weekly views and I will show you how you can make this work and add them into your monthly view. And something that I love about this desk pad is just because I personally get tired of using the same weekly view over and over. So the pros of using this desk pad is you can choose whichever weekly view it is that you want to use and insert it to your monthly views. So these are, I'm still going over weekly options and then towards the end, we have um, alternative daily views. So let's just say you would want to plan just one day daily view. You would just insert this one. And right now we will go over that. Another daily view, another daily view, different daily views. And then we have all the inserts that come in the life planner. So I want to show you really quickly if I come into my, if I come into, this is actually the faith planner, but all of these inserts that are in here, but they are linked here. So if I want to find one, they are linked. That means I can't erase it because it has a link. You will actually find all those same inserts in here and you can only add the ones that you would like. So I'm going to go through them quickly so I can, then go into the tutorial on how to move around pages and make this work for you. You have your monthly expenses, debt tracker, wellness tracking, symptom tracker, workout plans, habit tracking, challenge tracking, meal planning, kitchen inventory, grocery list, recipes, project planning. You have goal planning, goal breakdowns, weekly reviews, weekly schedule, routines, meetings. So you'll see the travel inserts, travel checklist, places to visit, expenses, packing list, sermon notes. And like I said, if you do not need these, that was me playing around with it, you can erase them because like I said, the only thing that is hyperlinked in this desk pad you can only find the months hyperlinked and your cover hyperlinked and your dashboard. You have your prayer request scripture. So you'll see all of the templates that are included in the new planners in here. Book notes, versus hub, write scripture, Bible tracker, and I believe that's the last one. So 
the way that this would work is I already kind of did it. So when I go to January, so let's just go to February. So if I swipe one to the side, I'm already in March. So I can add whatever weekly view I want to use for the first week of February. So I would come up here to my extra pages and I can even come up here to my first squares and scroll a little quicker. So let's just say that I want to use this weekly view for the first week of February. I'm going to go to my first squares and I'm going to select that page and copy it. Then I'm going to come to February, go to my four squares, and I'm going to add the page after, and I'm going to paste the page. So then whenever I am in February and I need to plan for my first week, I just swipe and I have that week. Now, if I wanna use this same weekly option for the four weeks or five weeks that are in February, I think it's four, I can just come up here and duplicate the current template that I'm doing and I can add it the four times. And that is kind of how it works. I can add as you go. And let's just say in the first week of February, I actually want to daily plan one day. So I'm going to come up to my extra pages and I'm going to find my daily page. Let's just say I want to use the simple daily page. So this one, I go to my four squares, select it, copy it, and then I can come here and add my daily page here. Add page after and I can paste the page. And then maybe in that specific day, I just wanted to daily plan, but not the rest of the day. So I don't need the links to be there on all of them. So you would only add what you want as you go. And let's just say in the middle of the week, you want to add a grocery list. You can actually even use your little search button now find my grocery list let's just say i want to use this one i can grab it select it and copy it and you can do this to any template that is in this desk pad and then i'm going to add it in my week of february so after my daily view add page after paste the page so this is what I love about this planner that, it, like I said, it is an add as you go and you only add what you want. Now I am going to show you how to use the dashboard. So I was kind of, like I said, playing around with this part, but let's just say that for in the dashboard, I want my section number two to be my wellness tracking. So I can label it wellness tracking. And then everything is hyperlinked. So I'm going to tap on it. And now I'm going to add it with a text box so you guys can see something um, different. Wellness tracking and I kind of, let's do that again. Okay, perfect. So then here I wanna insert my wellness tracking. So I'm gonna to come to my extra pages and I'm actually going to search again, wellness and it's going to be this one. I'm gonna to go to my four squares. I'm going to select it, copy it, hit done. And I am going to go to my dashboard and wellness tracking, and I'm going to insert that template in here. So I'm going to go to add page after, paste the page. And now that I have this template in here, I can duplicate it as many times as I'd like, or I can add other templates in this tab. And I know that this is my wellness tracking tab. So that is another way that you can use all of these templates. Now, if you decide, you know what, I don't need, I'm not, I know for sure I'm not going to use any of those last templates, like the faith inserts and stuff like that, you can select them all and you can trash them because this, like I said, these these inserts are not hyperlinked and you can grab everything and just trash it. I don't wanna do that. So that is the idea of this dust pad. The reason I created it was because I know there are people that don't like a lot of links or you don't know when you weekly plan or you wanna swap out your weekly views, you can do that. Now, when it comes to the life planners and the faith planners um, that, are, that are in our shop, the new ones, you will see that you will have everything hyperlinked. So this is the default weekly view. This is the de default daily view for the faith planner. And in the life planner, you will see that this is the default weekly view and this is the default daily view. And you can't erase these because they have hyperlinks. So that is where the desk pad would come in because you get to add the templates that you want. 
and here in the life planner you will have those same templates that you have in your desk pad but here like i said you won't be able to erase them you can move them around but the desk pad just works if you just want something simple and you want an add as you go kind of thing now to close off i will be showing you how to um, change your cover i do go over this in video number one when you purchase but all these covers i show you how to download them to your camera roll or to your files and they are exactly measured to fill the place that you are trying to and once you tap on it everything does stay the same you do kind of have to play around with it just to make sure that it's an exact you can also tap the little photo icon and tap on it to make it fit um, where you would like to and then you can swap these out anytime you'd like and the fun part about that is just that if you get tired of a certain cover you can always come in and swap it out hope that helps and in the next following videos i will be showing you a full flip through of the life planner and of the faith planner bye everybody